Hello guys and welcome back to another Tweaker Man video. So I just want to wish you all a happy new year. And uh, I've been looking forward to this coming year on what the sort of things I'll be doing with my own system. And I'd like to know what you will be doing with your systems. What upgrades have you got in mind? Um, anything you're changing? Uh, music you'll be buying so uh, the sort of thing that I'm going to be doing <clears throat> is I've still got the kit for the musical fidelity x10d so I'm going to totally revamp that with the kit new tubes the whole uh, everything inside all the, the, the capacitors and the, everything's going to be changed on that and this is the upgrade power supply for it, which I purchased when I purchased the kit. So the whole lot came to around about 350, I think. So I'm hoping for really good results with that. And um, now the second thing that I'm going to be doing is uh, what I'd like to say first is I'm not really a, a quad purist, really. I know there's... Uh, people that don't want to change a quad 405 or a 405 mark ii they like to keep the characteristics of the original amp now with me um what i'm going to do with this amp is I'll, i'm going to upgrade all the parts the internal parts to the highest quality that i can afford um with all the capacitors and everything inside it I'm going to do my utmost to get it as good sounding as possible because I've got the, got this uh, got into this changing capacitors and everything. Um, I'm thinking it's so much easier to do your own upgrades. And, and the thing is with the quad 405 is it's so accessible to take the boards out. It, the whole thing comes apart lovely. Unlike some amps that are really difficult to, to undo. But with the, the 405, it's just brilliant for all that. So I'm going to be making a list of parts that I want to purchase at some stage this year. And that's going to be one of my big upgrades for the year. Um, I'm, I, don't, I want to just take it to the limit as much as I can. And with the mini monitors, I've already replaced the other capacitor in there and the, the resistor. So I've ordered another resistor, the same, the same high-end Mundorf resistor, because there's two resistors in this crossover in the, uh, in the mini monitors. And uh, then I've got two more capacitors to change until that's going to be top-notch. And I'm really looking forward to, to it. And, and I can report already that the... Uh, the sound has become holographic. It really has. Since I put the new Zanjed Superior Z cap in there on the mid-range, it really has. And, and the new inductor, uh, inductor, the new uh, resistor. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be coming on lovely. And uh, another thing I'd like to do, but whether I'm, I'm going to be able to afford to do it this coming year, is uh, I want to get a new upgrade clock for the Sony XA9000ES SACD player. Um, usually a company called Tricord Research do them, so I'll probably go down that route. And what you do is you change the clock, and the clock has its own power supply as well. It, instead of connecting to the internal power supply. So um, <clears throat> that would be a nice upgrade to go to. But again, whether I'll get the chance to do it this coming year or not, I mean, the, the system over this year has changed quite considerably. So new speakers, new stands. Another thing is I, I polished the stands as well. I don't know if you can see them in the video, but they're all polished and they look very similar colour to the rest of the furniture and that in here so i wanted to keep the color scheme the same it's like when i re when i veneered the speakers i mean i could have could have done them in any type of veneer but cherry has a fairly nice grain in it and it it matches teak quite well because these units are made of teak and i could have done them out of teak 
but uh, I find Teak slightly boring. But um, yeah, so yeah, I'm interested. Are you uh, are you going to make a? Uh, are you going to build yourself something? Now that would be really good to hear. If any of you guys out there are going to build uh, a turntable, a, a pair of speakers, or even even a kit like an amplifier, uh, are you going to build a an amplifier kit? What are you going to do, or are you quite happy just purchasing um, something already built? So I'll probably do a few more simpler things as well, like cabling. So I'm going to be doing quite a lot of cable videos this coming uh, year as well. But um, I'll be changing fuses. I know that's a dirty word for a lot of people that uh, can't get fuses because they'd be quite happy to change capacitors. Uh, but I think uh, fuses a snake oil. It's it's a very it's a very funny subject because when you look at high end capacitors as well, the lead wires they use better quality copper or silver lead wires in the more expensive capacitors. So if a cable snake oil, surely the capacitor with better lead wires is snake oil as well. <laughs> It, it, it's mind-boggling but there we go um but yeah that's it, it this is uh just another a short video today uh just just telling you what i'm going to be doing this this coming uh year 2023 and what you like to hear from you what what you're going to be upgrading or looking to do and also what what sort of how you going with your music do you music stream or are you moving away from physical media, physical music, CDs, SACDs, uh, LPs, reel-to-reel -reel tapes? Are you going to music streaming? Now, I've only just started uh, my journey into using my PC connected to my DAC because I had a problem with the uh, with the drivers. For some reason, I couldn't get the drivers to work on the PC for the um for the roxanne k3 dac but for some magical reason it just happened one night <laughs> i'd done exactly the same thing as i'd been doing all along and i think it was because i'd had multiple windows opened up on 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 the uh pc at the time and a little notice said try to shut all the windows so i shut them all up then it miraculously loaded in so uh, that was that. So now I can do quite a lot of uh, uh, listening to uh, Jazz FM through the PC, going through the DAC, and it does sound quite good. So uh, even though Jazz FM, I think, is compressed, I'm not sure how compressed it is over over um, the internet, opposed to going through DAB. It's quite low bit rate on DAB. But uh, over the internet, it's probably slightly better. But there's some... Wonderful uh, radio stations you can listen to through the internet. So I'll be uh, doing a bit more of that as well. So uh, I think that's it for this video. I think I've covered everything I wanted to say. So um, uh, again, Happy New Year to you all. Um, <clears throat> stay tuned. I'll be doing my utmost to bring you as much content as I can. Um, I've constantly... I'm constantly thinking of new ideas and new things to do. I mean, I go to sleep thinking of audio and wake up thinking of audio. Uh, the only thing that takes me away from it slightly is just the football. But uh, that's it. So thanks for watching another Tweaker Man video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to press that notification bell. So you're notified every time I upload a new video. And thank you for watching, guys.